are we in Moldova? No, but we're on our way to find the only Moldovan restaurant in all of New York. So I've never been to Moldova, but I want to try the food. I don't know what this restaurant's going to say, if they're going to be happy for me to come in there and film and, and learn about Moldovan food, but we'll give it a try. Kind of feels Moldovian out here. There's a Ukraine flag getting closer to Moldova. Maybe a Moldovian babushka. Maybe that's the Moldovian bread honor system. Maybe a Moldovian child all grown up. Too old for its rocking chair. There it is. The home of Moldova cuisine in New York. Let's go in and see if we can find some food. Here's the door. So what should I start with? He told me about this soup. Maybe it's called this one, Siorba de Berta. Do you have this today? Yes. Okay. Do you want lunch or do you want... Yeah, I think lunch, yeah. Okay, Berta. Yeah. How long has the restaurant been here? Ten years. Ten years? Wow, okay. So I start with that and then I'm going to try and see which entree to have. Oh, okay, perfect. Easy. Perfect. Thank you. Looks proper to me. Look at these old plates. Sewing machine. Souvenir plate. So what's on this menu here? We have beef stroganoff, uh, frigarui de pork, so pork shish kebab. This dish, mitite umamaglia, which is grilled traditional sausages with peas and onions. Mamaliga trapeza, how special. Special prepared cornmeal with assorted sides of meat, cheese, sour cream, scrambled eggs. I think I should try that if it's the house special. Mm, I got the tripe soup to start. What is the most traditional thing maybe to get? Maybe the, yeah, that's heavy? No. No? Palenta. Palenta, okay. So I get that for the main course, please. Yes. Okay, thank you. This what? Uh, this one and then the soup with yeah, tripe. Soup I ordered, so trapeza. Okay, okay. Perfect, thank you. So I ordered something called compote to drink. Obviously Moldova is known for wine, but you know, it's lunchtime and a weekday, so probably lay off the booze right now. Unless somebody obviously offers me booze. Perfect. Ah, uh, some bread? Yeah, thank you. Oh, beautiful. Look at this bread. It's like it looks like a nice like homemade loaf. Like a rye bread. They don't skimp on the pork. Yum. Juicy. Doesn't surprise me, the bread is delicious. Like most Eastern European countries. So how do I say this? Chorba de burta. Chorba de burta. Okay. Thank you. I'm working on my pronunciation. Thank you. So it has some tripe in it and some... Uh, it's cream? Cool, okay. Cream and tripe. Yum. Ooh, it's sour. It's very good. Very hearty. I, th I think you put uh, a little sour cream in it. Let's try it with a little sour cream and see what happens. Good start. 
tripe is of course the stomach of the cow, but you know, in countries like in Eastern Europe, you gotta make the most with every bit of food that you get. So it's a bit of a peasant dish, but not to say it's not delicious. Thank you. Good tunes. I heard the ring of a bell. I think my, uh, I think my food's coming. Oh, thanks, guys. Wow, so much food. Thank you. So this is with pork? Yeah. Pork, polenta, and cheese? Okay, thank you. Yes. So cottage cheese, polenta, pork, egg, sour cream, pickle. Wow, I think it's called mamalia? Mamalia. Talk about a casual amount of food for one. Let's try this polenta first. Get a bit of cheese. Mm. Oh, the cheese is like salted. Very good. I thought it was gonna be like straight up bland cottage cheese. That's amazing. Okay, I almost tried this pork. There's like literally half a pig on my plate. Mmm. Tender. Really tasty. It tastes totally different than I thought it would do. It's like, it's kind of like polenta, but it's got a more of a, a springy texture and the salted cheese cuts through everything really well. This is super comforting. This is a ton of food. Just a man and his meal in the back of a Moldovan restaurant and some music. You call this cheese uh, brinza? Okay, brinza. Okay, cool. So there you go, brinza. It's like a feta. It's like a feta cheese. It's good. All right. <clears throat> I think it's nap time. Those are real. Whew, those are real eggs. Who knows how those smell? Cracked them open. I need more like stomachs because I'm, I'm full. I want to try more things, but it's full because I'm like uh, I have a Canadian appetite, not a Moldovan appetite. Even dessert. I don't know if I have room for dessert. For next time, what do you recommend for dessert? Oh, okay. Lechinta. Okay. Sour cherry dumplings, that sounds good too. Yes. Okay. It's really good, this one. Baba is strudel is good. It's all good. Yeah, this one is my favorite. Perfect. Mm -hmm. This is like the Moldovan version of maybe like Tina Turner. I'm sure it becomes like a party for special events and stuff, or football matches or something. <laughs> okay, look at us, it's Moldo Moldo Moldovan rain. That was a cool food experience. It was a good trip, I've never had anything like that. Total chill, comfort food. That's the end of the trip to Moldova. Until next time, you never know what you can find in New York. All right, last, last try. Let's see if they have Moldovan wine at the place next to the Moldovan restaurant. Hello. Okay, I bet with my buddy. Do you have Moldovan wine? Yeah. You do? Okay. So this is from Moldova? Yeah. Cool, okay. Perfect, let me look around here. So Moldova, 
Moldova, Moldova. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I was thinking you might not have it, but we'll see. Okay, thank you. There you go, Moldovan Taco Bell. And that's it. So they did have Moldovan wine. Who knew? In Moldova, you, in New York, you can get Moldovan wine, Moldovan food, you can do it all. Next time I have to fly to Moldova. Okay, let's see if we can find some Moldovan food in here. But they do have the real smetana, smetania, I think they call it, which is like true Russian sour cream. There you go, smetania, smetania, I think. I think I found it. I think this is from Moldova. Denmark? Damn it. Sheep's ghee, I've never seen that. I guess that's like cow's ghee, clarified butter, but made with sheep. That's cool. Sir, do you have a brinza cheese? Brinza cheese? It's from Moldova? No? Okay, we're gonna take the Moldovan Express back to Manhattan. Good night.